Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Parker. Welcome back to once again to another Call of Duty Mobile video today. I hope everyone is doing well, and it's pretty exciting, man, because the brand new community update has just went live 15 minutes ago. So this is the Call of Duty Mobile December 12th community update 15 minutes ago made by the official Call of Duty Mobile Reddit account. So in this video, we're going to be going over the whole post. I did preview over some things here and it's pretty exciting, man. So I can't wait to get right into it. But if you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to go and give it a like as well as if you guys are new around here. Be sure to go and subscribe for future Call of Duty Mobile videos. And just due to me being so excited about this, I'm planning on giving away one season two battle pass. So all you guys have to go to do to enter in is just subscribe to this channel if you have not already done so give this video a like and then just leave a comment down below but without further ado we might as well begin here with the introduction so they say greetings call of duty mobile community last week we mentioned that we won google play's best game of 2019 as a reward we have surfaced the dlq 33 deep shark the sniper rifle with a big bite that surfaced on 1210 in the form of a DLQ 33 Deep Shark. Thank you all once again for your support. And then here we have just a little screenshot of what we can go and expect when it comes with this camo already. I already went and claimed the reward. If you guys want to go and claim the reward for yourself, be sure to go and check out the mailbox, but we'll kind of just go and continue on here. They continue on by saying you can collect this free weapon until the end of the year. So make sure to jump on, log in and grab it from your mailbox before we roll it out in 2020. This community update is focused all around events occurring right now now, upcoming events, many of the most popular points of feedback from last week, and some pesky bugs lurking around. While we may not be able to respond to everyone's responses to these updates each week, we are always reading and relaying the feedback we see. So please keep on discussing, asking questions, and bringing us all of that passion and excitement towards Call of Duty Mobile. Let us know if you have any questions about any topic or section below. Let's get right into it. Let's go. So we enter into the news and updates section. They begin by saying, here's the full look at everything coming this week to COD Mobile. So from the 6th all the way to the 15th, it is the new operator skill, the gravity spikes, which has already just been a continuation of what we can go and expect with this game from December 9th all the way to the 19th, which is just another continuation of the current event event the add friends event and it says about as straightforward as it gets add friends and snag some loot continuing on from december 9th to the 19th it's the team up event play with friends in any mode and earn points to unlock the m21 ebr jack frost and then this is where things get a little bit exciting today so this is actually going to be dropping tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it is the one shot, one kill mode in challenge. I don't know if this is supposed to be one in the chamber because I'm pretty sure one in the chamber is supposed to be like a separate part of this. But nevertheless, it sounds like a really awesome mode. It should be dropping tonight. And then this is where things get super exciting. If you're a huge Battle Royale fan, they go and say from the 14th all the way to we don't really know, but it's still in the month of December. The parade continues in Battle Royale. So this is going to be going live. I can go and check the calendar again on Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So ladies and gentlemen, I don't typically live stream on Fridays, but it would appear that I'm going to go and do a live stream. I'm going to be doing a whole countdown stream to this whole parade continuing in the Battle Royale. So if you guys are not already doing so, be sure to go and subscribe to Parker the Slayer Live. The last time we went and did a countdown stream, dude, I think I had over 2000 viewers at one point. So hopefully we can kind of continue on that with this whole new event that we can go and expect. But they go on and say many of these are continuing from last week and there are still plenty of time to complete them. Grab the rewards and take that shiny new toy, piece of gear, 
or operator skill into your next match. However, for brand new events, jump in and check one shot, one kill, and let us know what you think. So dude, this is going to be so much fun. And here we even have a little teaser of what we can go and expect as well. We have Santa, the Santa skin, holding a revolver, and then you have the battery skin kind of in the background. This is all taking place on Christmas Raid, by the way. So who knows if they are going to be adding in a Christmas Raid now, finally, after not having Raid for such a long period of time. But they continue on by saying, we'll have a new Activision Games blog post coming out for this soon with more details and plenty of tips for those looking to dominate this mode. So now they talk about the Battle Royale holiday update. So they say, over the last week, we have seen many people discussing this event, whether it is tactics for trying to tackle the parade vehicle, trying to figure out what stars a gingerbread man are for, or just hoping to learn what some other new additions to the map are for. We aren't going to spoil any of that here, but this is an event that will be evolving throughout the month. Oh my god, keep checking back to see what it is all ultimately leading towards and to see if there is any in-game events tied to that, like the current Candy Cane collection. Get out there and hunt down that parade to see a glimpse of what this is all about. And then we have a little teaser image right here. Okay. So what that kind of sounded like to me, and dude, now I'm gonna like some goosebumps in my hairs on the back of my neck are kind of sticking up here, but it sounded like this is all gonna be leading towards something. You know, there's this whole big parade that's gonna be going on and it's ultimately gonna lead to one big thing. And I believe that's gonna be the catalyst to what we've been seeing popping up in the battle royale. Like for example, there was this whole underground section to the battle royale. There was this TV monitor with a whole bunch of ones and zeros saying system error what could this whole thing be and it seems like we're gonna be getting down to the root of everything which is so exciting like dude I, this is so awesome what they're doing with the battle royale and i just cannot wait for what the future is gonna go and hold with this so now they get into the feedback section which is always a very interesting section here it kind of highlights what the future of the game is going to be like and how they're taking our feedback into consideration so they say this week we'd like to highlight a few new topics in order to help explain our process around them, but also to encourage the general community to keep providing feedback about all three topics. Many of you take time from your day to already do so, and we love you for it, but sometimes it may come out in ways that is hard for us to value or read clearly. For example, tweeting our at PlayCod mobile account on Twitter and saying make X weapon better doesn't provide us with anything that will help us address what you dislike or have feedback about. All we ask is that you give us feedback in a constructive way and with enough basic details to understand where you're coming from. Which is perfectly said here, man. Like, there's a lot of people out there that are like, nerf this weapon, do this, do that. And that's all they go and say. So they're practically telling us to go and elaborate a little bit more, which makes perfect sense. But, but we might as well get into the section where they talk about weapon balancing. So they say, since the beginning, our teams have always been balancing weapons in a way that different variants would have different effects, but not necessarily be just flat out stronger or better. The same goes for how weapons compare to each other. Some players have done many comparisons of the upcoming Locust sniper rifle compared to other snipers. If you believe a new sniper is overpowered compared to others, then that is legitimate feedback that we'd love to hear. Balancing in general is an ongoing part of development. However, please wait until you try it out in game to see if the stats reflect how it feels in matches. Just because a weapon may have slightly higher damage than another, there may be trade-offs that are not clearly evident until you compare both of them in game. Now, this was a huge controversial topic, especially on Twitter, because the Locust was was recently leaked all the stats for it and it was one of the best snipers that you can go and get in the game but you could only go and buy it through the store so that's where a lot of people were like whoa is now cod mobile gonna be a pay to win type of game and a lot of people were kind of upset about that but they're saying Hold up, hold your horses, just wait until you go and try out this weapon in-game and see how it kind of compares to other weapons. 
now they talk about map requests so they say one of the most common questions in the community is can you make x map in call of duty mobile the short answer to any of those questions is that maybe we can but it depends on a great many things other than just the demand for specific maps we always have plans for new maps on the horizon like with season 2 the upcoming winter raid map and summit However, we are always open to suggestions and we'd like to encourage you all to respond to this community update by telling us what map you would like to see in COD Mobile. The more the better, so please feel free to overwhelm us with feedback related to this. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if you want Rust, if you want High Rise, if you want Terminal added in to COD Mobile, please go to this Reddit post and let your voices be heard in the comment section down below. This is so awesome, man. And we might as well continue on here to the event rewards section so they say in the past players have called out specific events and given us fantastic feedback related to that whether that is bringing up how hard the requirements may have been or discussing the perceived value of the rewards since we've launched season two of cod mobile we have had many events consistently running like the ones called out in the news and update section of every community update we would just like to encourage you all to help us shape the future of these events even if it is just daily login rewards by giving us feedback on them whenever possible you can do that through reddit twitter or any social media area we are on but you can also reach out through the feedback form in game it is all welcome that is all appreciated and it all makes an impact to the events to come so now we get into the bug report section and they say we are still seeing roughly the same issues discussing each week after week since season two launched so here are a few of the most popular ones being asked about over the last week as per usual please keep reporting anything you see through the in-game support options or through the player support website here are a few issues we are currently investigating or working on. So they start off by talking about Android controller issues. So they say, this is still something we've seen people inquire about frequently and we are working on it. Support for controllers has just started and there will be more coming in the future, whether or not it's adjustment, fixes, or the potentially new types of supported controllers. Just to reiterate for anyone encountering issues, for players using DualShock 4 wireless controllers on versions 9 and 10 of Android devices, there is currently an issue with certain features or the controller itself not functioning. We are investigating these issues, please keep an eye out for updates. So here they're just talking about controller support and making it just evolve into something greater, which I'm really excited about. I know a lot of people, you know, they would prefer playing over a controller rather than just using using their fingers and just normally playing on their device, which in my eyes, it's perfectly fine because there are just separate servers included in there. Then they continue talking about purchasing issues. So they say, if you have been still encountering any issues, purchasing anything from the in-game store, whether or not it's COD points or a specific item, please make sure the transaction was successful. Wait a few hours and then restart the game in case there is a delay. And if you still don't see, then please do the following. And I will go and just have the following up on screen for you guys to go and do while that's up on screen we might as well go into the white screen issues so they say this is an android only issue that occurred around the launch of season two and some players are still encountering we are working on eliminating the cause of the issue but for anyone encountering this is a few of the different troubleshooting options so if you guys want to go and do this for yourself i will also have that on screen right now and they finally conclude that by saying if none of those options work please reach out to our support channel so our team can help you throughout that process and get you into the game as soon as possible. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to go and conclude the video today. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy this video. Lots of informative stuff. And also, like I said, this Friday, I'm going to be live streaming the new event coming to the Battle Royale, which I'm so stoked about. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Parker. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful and fabulous day. I certainly am. And I guess I'll talk to you guys in the next video.